make K the subject of the given formula. The formula is 2A is equal to pi K squared plus 3T. And as usual, we have our intermediate steps column right here. In making K the subject of the formula, what we are actually required to do is to have K all by itself on one side of the equation, preferably the left-hand side. Then everything else will be on the other side. That's our objective. That's our aim. Eliminate everything that is on the same side as K beginning with the one that is least related to K. We have quite a few things here to eliminate pi, 3t, and the square. First, eliminate the one that is least related to the proposed subject, the one that is furthest away logically from K. That is the one that we will eliminate first. Now, 3t is the one that is least related to K. Some students will say that it's 2a that is least related to k. The 2a is exactly where we want it. Right on the other side. And it is not interfering in any way with k becoming the subject of the formula. So we are not talking about that one. We are talking about those that are in our way that we need to eliminate. 3t is the first one. It is related to the term containing K by addition. We will therefore eliminate it by doing the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. Notice what happens there, that if we pay attention to the animation, we'll see the 3T being subtracted from the left-hand side first. It is okay because by eliminating 3t from the right hand side we need to subtract 3t from the right hand side but we cannot do that to one side of an equation we need to subtract 3t from the other side also whatever we do to an equation in order to change the value of one side must also be done to the other side changing its value in the same way and so we subtract 3t from both sides by so doing 3t is eliminated from the right hand side and on the left hand side we have 2a minus 3t 3t is now eliminated and on the left hand side we have 2a minus 3t Here we go again. What's the next thing that we need to eliminate? Proposed subject is K. The one that is least related to the K at the moment is pi that we need to eliminate. It is related to the K by multiplication and we need to eliminate that pi by division. Notice that we are dividing by pi on both sides because whatever we do to one side of an equation to change its value must be done to the other side to change its value in the same way. Pi will therefore be eliminated from the right hand side and on the left hand side we now have 2a minus 3t all over pi. Notice that K is still not by itself because here we have K squared. We need to eliminate the square finally. How do we do that? We will eliminate the K by imposing the opposite of actually squaring K, the opposite of doing that, on that same side. And the opposite of squaring K is to take the square root. Eliminate the square from the right hand side by taking the square root. 
And you imagine that we are going to do that to the left hand side also in order that the equation will remain balanced. The square root and square will have a cancelling effect on each other and on the left hand side we will have the square root of all of 2a minus 3t all over pi. We know that as it is, k is not yet the subject of the formula. Although we have singled it out, it is not yet the subject. And it is simple to make it the subject of the formula from here on. All we need to do is turn this equation around. Turn the formula around in order that the proposed subject will become the subject by being on the left hand side. There we have it. The subject is now k, and k is equal to the square root of all of 2a minus 3t all over pi. For access to hundreds of free videos, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Richard James Mathematics Resources. For unlimited access to thousands of exclusive full-length videos, please subscribe to our Vimeo channel, Richard James Mathematics Resources.